Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Last episode had a pretty decent run, not gonna lie, I don't think I played that poorly. Um, I just think that, you know, it came down to dumb damage, like it always does, you know. Anytime I have a good run, but I kind of throw it away in 99 times out of 100, it's because I took a lot of unnecessary damage that could have been avoided you know, if I didn't have the reflexes of a fucking, you know, peanut or something. But looking to bounce back here. Lost is absolutely, I think, my worst character, <laughs> to be honest. Frankly, I am not too optimistic playing as him, but we're going to try. You know, not going to not gonna give up. I just, uh, I have not had success at any point with the lost so we'll see what happens though we shall see you know our stats are relatively normal um, and we get you know wh what's it called the turd or something as our spacebar item which is a pretty terrible spacebar item but you know ultimately a pretty normal run to start off with here it's just the fact that our HP is temporary, which is the main issue. But uh, we can we can make it work. We can make it happen. Whew. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm trying to keep my voice down a little bit because last episode in particular, which I just recorded, I was talking very loudly for a while, you know, and my voice isn't used to doing that lately because I haven't been recording content lately. <laughs> you know, like I... Anyway. <laughs> um, you know, I, so I'm trying to... Trying to ease myself back into it. You know, I don't want to... I don't want to shred my... You know, my throat or something. Trying to, you know, record a bunch of content because I have plans to record much more content today so that I can get back in the swing of things that did not pan out the way that I hoped it would. Um, you know, I think uh, taking taking it easy on the voice box is a good thing. And I also think that, you know, you don't have to talk that loudly every episode. You know, it's a, it can be relaxing. It can be laid back. You know, obviously it can't be that laid back when I'm frustrated, but I'm not frustrated right now. I'm all good. We did lose a little bit of health there. Not a big deal. Got a radiator fire upgrade, which is very nice. And I know that as the lost, you can't get any permanent HP. But if we had a way of uh, getting, you know, a sustainable amount of HP, that would be lovely. Can't do anything with those. <laughs> I know you're taunting me, but I don't think it's funny. I'll take PhD. Would much rather know the pills that I'm getting as opposed to not, because that can be helpful. You know? I know some people think PhD is not that great of an item. I think it's a perfectly average and fine item. And uh, I think it's good to get at the start of a run for sure and I think it can help you out long term too granted I'm not as much of an Isaac snob as some other people are you know um, you know I, I know that there are people that play this game and they they have very strong opinions about what items are good, what items are not, what items are worth taking. There's a whole debate about whether or not you should take pills to begin with. Um, you know, I'm just I'm just here like, hey, you know, uh, <laughs> I'm not good at the game, but uh, I'm having a good time, and I don't need to debate about what's worth taking and what isn't. God damn it. Pin... You came a little too late. All you had to do was uh, was make life easier for me. Couldn't even do that. 
Now, we are going to get a deal with the devil here unless we die. And the best item I think we could get in this situation is Abaddon. Because that gives us a bunch of temporary HP and a damage upgrade. Um, which would be really nice. Magic Mush is also perfectly good. Um, you know, I want to take Dark Bum. I really do. But I don't have the HP. If I can get one more Spirit Heart and not lose it, I'll jump on Dark Bum and I'll take it because I think it's worthwhile. But I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, not only am I going to have to reroll that room, but I'm going to have to go fight in other rooms. And who knows how well that's going to work out for me. Well, there you go. Uh, not going to really happen at this point. I don't think we did get a Joker card, though, which is actually really nice. And we can try and use it when we have more HP to work with, if we get more HP to work with. Um, yeah, I, it, it's not going to happen. So we'll go ahead and move on. Not a big deal. Not a big loss. I think we're fine. Obviously, HP is not good, but, you know, you take what you can get. Take what you can get. Roll with it. So uh, that's how life works, baby. Holy shit! <laughs> uh, God, oh my stomach! I don't know if I was complaining about this last episode or this episode, but my stomach, you know, it's like it's like it's begging me to. You know, unleash its load, but it's like I don't I don't feel like I have to go to the bathroom, you know. But it's definitely upset that I have only given it coffee and not any food so far today. And I will eat, don't worry about it. But not right now, okay? Mom, I'm playing video games. Jeez. No, but I mean, in reality, <laughs> I'm putting it off because food is expensive. And uh, I don't want to spend money to purchase food because I am not exactly in a position where that is financially feasible. Not in a bad situation at all. But... Uh, not in a position where I can afford to spend a whole lot of money on food, you know. So I got to be careful. Um, and I'll be fine. You know, I know that sounds concerning, but I'll be fine. I'm, uh, I'm going to have a new job, actually. Can I move? I guess I can't, huh? I was hoping I could move one of those uh, barrels over to the Tinted Rock, but um, I'm going to try and get another bomb. You know what? We have Mr. Boom, actually. I can take it, run back, and uh, use it. And, uh, you know, I mean, hopefully not die to those fucking flies along the way. Um... No, that's not where it was. I left Mr. Boom in the item room, you dingus. You saw the bomb on the map and you were like, yeah, that's where I left it. No, buddy. It's right here. But I absolutely need this tinted rock because uh, very strapped for HP. We only got one. Better than none. Mm. No. Nothing uh, substantial. If we can get an angel room, that would be lovely. 
doubt it though. Cause, uh, why did I, Oh my Lord. Um, but I doubt it, you know, I like, well, I don't doubt it, but it, it, it's kind of hinging my bets on something that doesn't have a hundred percent chance of being there. So we'll see though. Thank God for crack the sky. What a lovely, lovely spacebar item. And see, we didn't get it. And I'm not going to use the Joker card yet because uh, I don't think it's worth using just yet in this situation. I think we'll be fine temporarily. You know, we're strong enough to fend for ourselves, I think, for the time being. Um, we're obviously going to need more HP at some point, but not a dire situation just yet yet okay I am not losing faith frankly this run looks a lot better than most lost runs do for me anyway so I'm happy about that that was not worth my while really to be honest in fact I just wasted a key ultimately but uh, I you know I tried I can't believe I didn't get hit there. That was actually... Oh, God. Okay, we're, I mean, I'm, I'm just looking for the item room at this point and the boss fight, but mainly the item room. Nope. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm going to blow you up. Okay, thanks. Increases our angel room opportunity as well. I would like to get an angel room before I get a deal with the devil. Cause, uh, so I can maximize the amount of items I can get. That and, you know, angel room items are free. So... Um, there we go. Okay, ghost buddy. Not good, but we'll take it. When I say not good, I mean not a game changer, but it's fine. Not necessarily looking for a game changer. Just looking for more HP. We'll take that for sure. Trying to figure out. It's got to be this way. Yeah. My phone is blowing up with all of these notifications, and they're all about the Boston Marathon. And to be honest, I don't really care about the Boston Marathon too much. You know, I get it. It's a big deal for the city. I don't care about it all that much, though. So... You know, local news sites, could you pander to what I want and stop giving me notifications about something that I don't care about? No, but, you know, it, it is a pretty big deal in this city. And it is ongoing right now, actually. I think they might be done. They're just wrapping up, I think, with the main race now, I think. Um, so... Hence why I'm probably getting these notifications. Wow, okay. All right, well. <sighs> Fuck. All right. Give it a, we'll give it a do-over. I, I took my mind off the game for one second. And it punished me for it. Wanted to talk a little bit about the Boston Marathon. You know, something relatively important to where I am. But, uh, game was like, eh, no. Can't do that. You gotta focus on me 100% of the time. And if you don't, well, I'll just make you pay the price. You know what? It's fair, but I hate you for it. It's like, uh, it's like when your parents ground you. 
It's like it's fair, but I hate you for it. I know what I did was wrong, but I hate you for it. And I, uh, going to resent you for it as a result. Is that fair of me? No. But, uh, I'm a teenager. What do you want me to do? It's my obligation to hate my parents. No. But I, I am well beyond that stage of my life. Um, you know, and frankly, I don't think... I think, you know, I think teenagers definitely do get upset with their parents. Like, you know, I mean, like... Literally happens to everybody. But, um... You know, I don't think it's as big of a deal as it's made out to be in uh, in social media. Or not social media, uh, pop culture, like movies and whatnot and TV shows. It's like, mm, I, I, oh, my mom is so annoying. Mm, my dad, mm, uh, you know, it's like, I don't, I don't think it's actually really like that you know I think it's an outlet for people to let off some steam regarding their parents but like you know do, do, it, does anybody actually act like that all the time and if you do what is wrong with you you know like don't get me wrong parents aren't perfect there are plenty of valid complaints that can be made about parents but you know unless your parents are like extremely shitty you know, oh my lord. Okay, I'm gonna finish this fucking bit and then we're ending the episode because I cannot play as the lost anymore. Um, but, you know, like, unless your parents are extremely shitty people, you know, and they treat you extremely poorly, you know, there. I don't think there's any solid reasoning to have a constant resentment of your parents you know it's like get over yourselves at the end of the day like you know I, that's a whole thing that's a whole conversation that could be had sorry i hit my mic but i'm not going to get into it not really worth it but uh anyway with that being said if you guys enjoyed this episode of the binding of isaac afterbirth plus let me know down in the comment section below like the video and share with your friends let me know you want to see more of any games i do here on the channel Link down to the game is in the description box below. If you want to pick it up for yourself, subscribe to my channel for more gaming content. I play all sorts of games on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you very much, and I will talk to you later.